How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I want to talk more about the created player and what are the best possible builds for your created player in MLB The Show 19. Before I get into this I do want to say that all of these created players are good and usable in their own way. There isn't really any wrong option. It's really personal preference and uh, which type of player you perform the best with. There are a variety of different uh, positions and players that you can choose from and they're all definitely good in their own way. So to start with, I'm going to be going over some of the equipment that I have. I do have mostly diamond equipment that I have unlocked throughout the XP reward path. Uh, as you get to the gold level, uh, you will unlock diamond packs that give you free diamond equipment. You can go ahead and sell them or you can uh, use them for your creative player. I did want to just include some of the equipment items. I'm not going to go through all of them individually. I wanted to provide a screenshot for you guys so that way you can see what I am rocking with. Uh, one of the reasons why I do have a diamond uh, catcher's gear is because I do have a catcher as a created player. That's one of the cards I'm going to be talking about in this video, and that's one of the ones I talked about in my last video. But to start with, I'm going to be talking about the shortstop. I did go ahead and uh, redeem all of the shortstops. You complete the missions in moments, lock in the silver shortstops and gold shortstops, play 150 online innings, and you automatically get the second choice pack. But if you did some of the grinding against the computer, then you will be able to unlock this 85 diamond choice pack first. There are a couple different options. You have a contact focus and a power focus. Here are the base stats for the contact focus player. I'm going to talk a little bit about them individually. They're both really good when you add the equipment to them. I personally chose power for the first choice. The first choice does not affect the second choice. So let me explain what that means. I chose power for this shortstop. Uh, this specific card, this 85 one that we're looking at right now, I chose this card and it has no effect on the second choice or the attributes that the second choice is going to have. So if I choose contact for the second choice, then I'm going to have an 85 power hitting shortstop and then a uh, contact at 88 overall. This is another good option. This is the balanced 89 created player. I would personally either choose the contact or the balanced. I personally went with the contact and I'm going to explain why in a little bit. I'll show you guys the stats with the equipment added in a second and I will also have some gameplay with a variety of options of these cards. If you guys have been watching my videos already then you do know that I've had a lot of gameplay with my catcher, my creative player at catcher behind the plate. He is a power focus with the second choice being a power focus. And uh, I mean, this is another, this is the power focus for the shortstop. Definitely a good option. Uh, the fielding is going to be a little bit lower. I do think you can get it up there to gold or maybe even diamond fielding. Uh, but this is the one I went with this contact uh, shortstop. He's going to have contact in the hundreds, power in the 70s, high 70s, uh, great vision in the hundreds as well. He's going to have uh, diamond fielding with 99 speed. I definitely think that this card is uh, overpowered and is the better option. He plays similar to Roberto Alomar. But let me go ahead and show you guys uh, this last option, which not every position has a fielding focus created player, but this is definitely going to have maxed out fielding at every single stat, 99s across the board with 99 speed as well. But his contact is only going to get up to the like 99 area. And then same with the, the power is only going to get to around 70s, mid 70s, and his vision won't be as high either, but his fielding is going to be there. If you do go ahead and uh, unlock the power shortstop, at 85 diamond this is his stats after the equipment that i had on in the previous screenshot the screenshot of the equipment this is with that added equipment on with the attribute boosted afterward if you want to take a look at what your creative players attributes are you can go into the game under player stats and check this out this is the contact focus build and uh, as you guys can see very similar to roberto alomar i do um use a natural switch hitter swing in Aldeberto Mondesi. I'll talk a little bit about his animations and, and uh, swing types and everything later on. But a solid player all around, really good stats. And uh, I also have a maxed out creative player at catcher as well. I wanted to wait until I made this video before I had a variety of options and some gameplay with both of the creative players that I would be talking about in this video. Personally, if I uh, was to go back and make another catcher, I would probably go with the contact focus as well. But I do think having a power focus catcher is awesome. I think that that card is really good. He has done really well for me. And especially after the patch, he's much improved. Uh, this is the 85 power focus catcher who I also selected. I probably uh, would have alternated them if I knew that the first choice didn't affect the second choice the first time around. As soon as the game came out, I completed this and I uh, wanted to get a creative player that was really good. 
but uh, this would probably would have been the option this uh, 85 contact focus catcher and then if i did want to choose the power focus catcher then i would have went with that as well but to have a variety a little bit of a combination of both types then you can use the 85 sometimes you can use the 89 overall it doesn't really matter with the creative player as much it's more about how the stats are boosted with the equipment if that makes sense the animations that you use the swing type that you like it's really just creating your own type of dude but uh, this is indeed the contact focus doesn't really have as much speed as let's say pudge but uh, definitely solid all around this is the one that i chose the power hitting uh, focus catcher and then i also will have his stats with the equipment added after this so i wanted to include that in this video this card is definitely good he has 99 arm strength after the equipment's added he also has gold fielding which is nice not quite um not quite 90 fielding for that diamond badge but this is the 85 uh, power focus catcher with the equipment added just the 85 version is really good as well 90 something contact versus both 104 power 75 vision this card's definitely going to play really well for you on uh all-star hall of fame might be a little tougher to use that vision on um legend but anyway this is the the final version of the power focus catcher with the as best equipment as i could probably get on him i definitely could have gotten a little bit higher blocking attribute there at 81 i think it can go up to like 85 but or maybe even 84 anyway this is a solid build the guy throws out literally everybody trying to steal uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get into some gameplay with the 85 diamond uh shortstop this is actually the last game that i played with the 85 diamond shortstop before unlocking the 88 contact focus one and he will also be making his debut in this video it's only going to be clips of pablo sanchez hitting there i just missed that one it was an outside pitch i tried to pull it i was a little bit early and i uh, didn't get the result that i was looking for but i did want to include that as uh, he was able to make solid contact there even with the, the 85 diamond i mean this is the power hitting shortstop definitely usable on all-star hall of fame difficulty which is what this game was being played on there he hit a two-run shot and uh, also blooping one in for a base hit just because he's a power hitter does not mean that he won't bloop in a few singles here and there uh, it's just part of the game with the just late hits this next game i did unlock the 88 uh, contact focus this will be his first game making his debut at shortstop and uh, this card is really awesome i uh, was really excited to unlock this dude and try him out i did put him in the leadoff spot because he does have a, a similar batting stance to Roberto Alomar. Aldoberto Mondesi has that two-handed quick swing, very compact. And uh, with the 99 speed leading off, I just couldn't pass it up. 115 contact versus both sides and a switch hitter facing Whitey Ford for the first time. And this is something that it allows me to do. I mean, Roberto Alomar does hit a no-doubter here, but I got a slide step slider over the middle of the plate. That was very effective in having 99 speed on first base. He thought I was going to steal. I stole the previous pitch trying to do a hit and run, and it didn't work out. But uh, later on in the game, I was able to hit it one into the gap for a double with 99 speed getting into second there. That opponent went ahead and quit out of that game shortly after that, but I wanted to include those clips uh, that was a great way to start the game off he's definitely a game changer at the top of the lineup with that speed and that really amazing contact uh, here he's leading this game off with a line drive the other way definitely some good oppo power there didn't quite get all of it and send it out off the wall or for a home run but uh, I did notice in this game as well that the ball wasn't carrying all that much no run scored uh, in the third inning here uh, Pablo Sanchez hits one to right field, line drive, just early feedback on that one. Hit it well, but right to him. And another reason why I wanted to just reiterate that I like having Pablo Sanchez with a similar swing to Roberto Alomar, because if I don't get a hit with Sanchez, then I could possibly hit one out right there like I did with Alomar. That um, made the opponent quit out as well, just one run in that one. Hop into the uh, final last game with for this gameplay, and then I'm going to talk about some other options for the creative player at the very end of this video. But so far in these clips, I mean, he hit the ball hard, solid line drives, other than that one pop-up to start the game off, but that was with the 85 power-focused uh, creative player. Here's a nice base hit into the gap. That's going to fall in. I thought about it extending for second on this one, but uh, he had Mike Trout in center. He got the ball in rather quickly. I think I would have been thrown out. And it was best to just keep the guy there. I needed some base runners. Nobody scored yet in this game. Later on in the game, after some runs were scored, I was trying to break the game open a little bit, extend the lead. That would have been nice to hit a no-doubter on that one. Unfortunate, hit it right to him once again. But uh, another good option uh, is third base for the created player. Very similar to the shortstop build. He also has the focus or the fielding focus card 
in there. Another option is a second baseman. I mean, I know we're getting a lot more second baseman in this game, but really, once again, I just wanted to say that it's personal preference. All the creative players are good, even the first baseman and the outfielder. The pitcher is really good with different equipment items, but I just wanted to show you guys the one I have and which one I think is best. Until next time, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.